Hey guys, I am Boxtron Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2. And one of you guys in the comments asked me to do Vulcans and Romulans versus the Federation in the Enterprise era, and I thought this would be a really fun thing to do. So I have two Timur class scouts, and we are in the um, multi era fleet here because there isn't actually a, a Vulcan faction that I can click and just get all Vulcan ships. So I'm pretty sure um, they're all in the multi eras. Um, so wait, so I, yeah, I, got, I also have two Surak class ships, and uh, the thing with the Vulcan ships I noticed is that they also, as well as the Federation ships, don't seem to have any sort of like a natural looking form behind their design. I mean, have you ever seen an animal that looks anything like this? No, you haven't, because they don't exist. So, yeah, so I've, I've also noticed that this Timur class seems a little bit um, more fat than the Sark class, although um, they're pretty comparable in um, there's. Uh, stats. It seems that the let me see. Actually, yeah, the the scout over here has better engine power, and this has slight. The Surak class has slightly better everything. But I mean, either way, it's a Vulcan fleet. Um, I think it'll do pretty well. Maybe unless it, it it doesn't, but it probably will. And okay, so we have the two uh, Federation fleets here and the Romulans. And I have one Federation fleet on hard AI and uh, one on medium. We are at Alpha Centauri because I know for a fact that there's no extra ships or weird things that spawn in this map that we have to take care of. It's just the fleets that I assign. And um, yeah, let's let's do it. All right, so our all Vulcan fleet is ready for battle. At least I, I hope they are. And yeah, this thing is a little bit stouter looking, but not quite as uh, long. And let's um do the let's just actually let's warp over here. Cause I wanna attract the attention of these guys. Come on, there we go. Alright. Now this is a Timur class, and I just fired on the coder. Let's grab one of the Surak class ships. There we go. Okay, so even though I remember in the one map where uh, we were fighting Vulcan ships, the torpedoes were the red torpedoes and they sounded cool, these ones are just the regular torpedoes that the Enterprise era ships fired. I don't know, may maybe the ones from uh, the original series era fire the cool sounding torpedoes. Okay, so it looks like we've taken out one of their nacelles, so they're, they're halfway to becoming just a flying saucer. Um, which is kind of funny. I, I think, anyway. Uh, let's grab the Timur class. Now, the one thing about Vulcans, which is pretty cool, is that they have shields. I really do love that about them. There we go. We have destroyed that ship. These ships actually look really cool. They look so alien, but so futuristic. Uh, let's let's um, figure out what the heck we're gonna shoot next. Let's shoot the yeah. Let's let's go. Let's jump on this bandwagon over here. I mean, everyone else seems to be shooting this guy, so let's let's do it too. Uh, it's the Minuteman class. Pretty soon they'll just be dead, and there won't be anything. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a Confederation class down there. I think it has. Doesn't it have shields? Yeah, it does. USS Colonel. Oh, now they're over here, and they're going to start shooting at us. Pretty soon. But you see, nothing can defeat the power of the Vulcan Star Empire. We are fighting with the Romulans after all, so I have to think of some cool name for the Vulcans. There we go. Now we're doing some serious damage. K kind of. A little bit. This is the Discovery Reef for the NX. I wonder how many versions of the NX they have going on here. What I actually want to shoot at is the, um... Whatever the heck this thing is, the Neptune class. Yeah, I want to I wanna shoot this thing because it looks cool. So I'm just going to break off from my attack group and just shoot this thing. 
Hmm. Okay, I didn't I didn't see the shields before go up on this thing when it fired at me. I was really confused for a second. It would seem that the Federation is doing a lot of damage to um actually I'm gonna quickly destroy this thing because I don't think I can actually take that ship. Oh no, oh no, we're gonna lose shields, we lost shields, oh boy. Okay, um New tactic, panic. I'm in the same ship still. There we go. Take on the Confederation class. What you doing over here? What you doing over here? What do you, what do you, which direction is forward? Please tell me, because I really don't know. That has a really cool engine sound. Okay, and warp, and wow, that was fast. Um, let's kill that Confederation class. Wait, was there another one we were shooting at? Oh, maybe we were shooting at that one. Or that, we were shooting at that one. Alright, that makes more sense. Okay, the shields are still down on my one Surak class, but they might go up before they die. So, that's pretty comforting. I don't actually see where the phaser emitters are on this thing. Yeah, there's nothing there. Whatever. Oh my gosh, everyone's on fire. At least on board this ship. Uh, we were shooting at this guy. Oh, the shield emitters must not be at... Yeah, they're halfway down. Oh, and we have no weapons. So, I mean... Yeah, let's, let's see if we can fix that. Or not. We need to kill this confederation class. Oh, I've never actually really paid attention to the way the Vulcan ships explode. That's pretty cool looking. Come on. There we go. Fired some torpedoes. Hey, I actually think that, uh... The Romulan vessel there is really helping us. Nope, nope. I, di I didn't shoot that. You guys didn't see that. Because uh, that guy's gonna shoot me out, probably. Okay, oh no. I forgot. Explosions uh, kill things, and I just lost another ship. We gotta get out of here. This is just bad. This is a bad place to be. Oh, there goes another one. Whoa. Oh boy. Is this guy paralyzed? He is paralyzed. That's hilarious. I mean, not that he's paralyzed, but just because I, I think I ran away from the ship uh, before. And now they can't do a thing about it. Although I think they actually probably could still uh, d defeat me. Yeah, I don't think that the Vulcans have the military capability necessary to destroy all these ships. Because this guy's shields are dropping. I'm just gonna warp away. Warp away. Nothing to see here. Um, let's get let's get this ship warp away. You too. We gotta start fixing things. We didn't warp far enough away, did, did we? No, we did not. Okay, where are they? Okay, so it looks like Discovery class is following my Surak uh, class ship, which is fine because um, that thing can definitely take it. At least I I think. It, well, maybe it can. I don't know. Let's just start impulsing this way. Yeah, I'm not quite going fast enough to outrun him. And this guy needs to warp now, please. Warp now, please. Thank you. And well, why did you turn around? Okay. Well, he's within visual range now, so I might as well uh, stop preparing that and uh, launch that torpedo. Maybe that'll deter him. Actually, let's just put power to the weapons. I'm tired of this slow recharge rate. I don't think you'll be able to take out my shields.
Oh, incoming torpedo. And we're going to lose our other ship. I don't even care. I mean, I, I can't really use it. It's not that powerful. Yep. Now I can concentrate on just using this ship, and we are going to definitely die before uh, we're able to destroy this thing, because, yeah, that Confederation class is coming up on us. Just die. Open fire, come on, you can do it, you can do it. We're so close, I just want to kill this one ship. Then I can explode. But I just want to do something honorable and logical. Not logical, this isn't logical. Going out in a blaze of glory is never logical. But... Oh, you know, I was just thinking, I, I bet I know why they made explosions do a lot more damage now, because like when you self-destruct, you can like kill any enemy ship that's nearby. Alright, well, we have been defeated. Logically, the choice would be to surrender, but um, that's not a thing. There we go. Beautiful explosion. Oh, that looks so majestic in the way the whole thing just sort of falls apart. So pleasing to the eyes. Alright, well that battle took uh, just over 10 minutes. Uh, we actually got 8 kills, our allies got no kills, and the enemy got 6 kills. Um, I feel that they got more though. But you actually know, because um, I did see the Raman ship exploded because of the explosions near it, so that kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, we did end up losing to the Federation there, but it was pretty close. Only, uh, what, two Federation ships left in the end? Um, so I think we did really, really well. This was a uh, really um, interesting and cool suggestion. I thought that the Vulcan ships are very unique looking and they're kind of mysterious. And I wasn't quite sure how powerful they were, so it, it was uh, pretty cool to see how all that worked out. And I actually thought that we did have a good chance at, at uh, winning, especially with the uh, Romulans assisting us, but I guess the Federation is just too strong, even though we're the faction with the shields. The Vulcans and Romulans had shields, but the Federation only had, like, what, one, two ships with shields? But I guess they make up for that with their armor plating or something like that. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this battle. If you guys did, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more. If you guys did not like this video, I do apologize for that. Please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is I can do to improve the next videos that I make so that hopefully you guys can enjoy them. And as always, if you guys want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about that. I will read those, and I will try to use those ideas in my future videos. So as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I will see you next time.